In today's video, I will teach you how to create an SVG file for a CryCut cutter using PhotoPeak. Let's get started. First, go to PhotoP, then click File, then New. Then set the width to 1000, height to 1000, and background to transparent. Then click Create to open your new canvas. Then select the Type tool from the toolbar on the left side, or simply press T on your keyboard. Then click anywhere on your canvas to start typing. If you need to restart, simply press Escape and click into the document again. Then highlight the text that you've typed and use the options at the top of the screen to customize it. For font, you can select your desired font style. For the text size, you can adjust the size to suit your design. And you can also choose the color you prefer and adjust the text alignment as needed. For more detailed adjustments, you can use the character window on the right side of the screen. Then click the check mark in the top menu to confirm and finalize your text. Now go to the Layers panel at the bottom right, and you should see a layer with a T icon which represents your text. Right-click on the text layer and select Convert to Shape. This step will transform your text into a vector shape, which is necessary for cutting machines. Now select the Path Select tool from the toolbar on the left side, or simply press A on your keyboard. Then click on any letter to see tiny nodes around it. These nodes indicate the vector paths that define the shape. Then look at the top menu for a drop-down labeled as Unite. Now click it and select Merge. This will combine your overlapping shapes into a single solid contour, making it easier for your CryCut machine to cut. And to export your design as an SVG file, simply go to File, then Export As, then select SVG. Then click Save to download your SVG file. And you can now open the saved SVG file in CryCut Design Space or Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and use it to cut your design. With PhotoP, you can easily create SVG files for your CryCut cutter by designing text-based shapes and exporting them in a compatible format. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.